found this really cool utility which will allow you to easily share files between your computers that are connected to your home network and I'm speaking about Nitro Share and we're gonna look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux All right, let's begin. Okay, first, you'll see here in my web browser, I have the Nitro Share page opened up in Launchpad. And first, we're going to need these files installed on the computer to use this. Now, I've already installed them, but you will see here there are applications for whatever platform you may be running. For instance, you may be running a Mac. You could be uh, using Windows, and you might need the 64-bit installer. There are RPM packages, a Windows 32-bit installer, and, of course, dev packages uh, if you're running Debian or Ubuntu-based systems, and, of course, a tarball for those of you who wish to compile this. Of course, if you're going to sit down and compile this, you probably already know how to open up a terminal and issue commands and run Secure Shell to connect to all your computers, so you don't even need to be watching this video in the first place. This is for all of you newbies who want to be able to do this, hey? So I've already got the file uh, installed on my computer here, and of course I did the i386 version because I'm running a 32-bit operating system with a PAE kernel. All right, and once you have installed that dev package and it is on your system and you've got it running, you will have a little icon up here that uh, looks like a little arrow pointing up. And you will simply uh, right-click on this icon and go into Settings. Okay, and then here is where you can configure things to your liking. Uh, you have General Preferences where you can tell it to load its startup, you can have it compress files before sending them, and then generate a calc... Uh, or calculate a uh, checksum for those. Under appearance, you can change uh, the uh, icon theme to match uh, or be more suitable for your panel, uh, a dark and a light theme. And then under notifications, you can decide whether you want to have it notify you when another computer on your network joins, uh, a computer leaves, files are being received or if an error occurs. I always have a check for the error occurs and I don't really care for all the other notifications. All right, and then under security, you have some options here. Now, in my home network, I just have my own computers and I know when they are hooked up and I actually shut this program off when I'm not using it. So I have it set to automatically accept files, but you can choose to have it accept files that match a regular expression or you can have it always prompt before uh, accepting any files. And then, of course, uh, additional network settings are available here. Okay, well then now let's have a look at this in action, shall we? Okay, in this window here, I have my render farm set up. I uh, set up another computer that I can send my jobs to uh, after I finish a video rather than using up all my resources on my main computer now I just send the job over to this computer here and to you'll see here on this screen I have the program running and I have it running on this computer as well so let me just say I want to transfer uh, a directory okay so I'm gonna select the computer's name which is circuit and let me pick out a directory why don't I send it my pictures folder and as you can see all files in this folder have been sent we can open that up just to verify this and all of the icons and everything are right there all of my pictures pretty neat huh all right, and maybe I want to just send a single file over. Just select send a file to circuit. And uh, why not send a Python script, just as an example here. So I'll open that up. And zip, bada, boom. Now I have my Python script uh, sent over there. And then, of course, I can do this vice versa. I can uh, go on my uh, render farm machine here. I can right-click select send files to 
and choose the TARDIS, which is my main box. The dialog opens up, and okay, why not send that Python file over to um, my machine? And as you can see right here, it transferred that file nice and easily. Bottom line, NitroShare is a nice tool for transferring files over your network. But one thing I did notice is it really doesn't like to transfer extremely large files. So if you're going to be transferring extremely large files, you're probably still going to have to put those files on a USB stick and manually bring them over to another computer because I did notice this program crash. But for small files, this is a great utility. Mm -hmm.